Hello everybody, how are you? This is Scott Bickle and I'm on my leadership coach, also than a travel explorer. In the growing age of social media, the future is going to be virtual reality. And I want you to have some thought process if you are a parent, if you are a caretaker, if you are a guardian to somebody. Are you aware of what's happening outside in the world of social media? Social media is determining almost every area and every aspect of our lives. Today, children, they, no matter where they go, they will just update their status. What are the vulnerable threats that are there along with this? Do you as a parent, do you as a caretaker are aware of this? Do you know what the survey says about the average time that a teenage girls or a teenage boy spends in the social media. You'll be shocked. More than six hours. With a wakeful time is just 10 hours to 12 hours in that six hours if they are going to spend in the social media. What is it that, you know, they're going to consume in life? Are you aware of the psychological impact of not having likes? Do you know how many people are getting into a small slide internal modes of depression because they're not getting likes. Why there is a growing sense of social approval? Because somewhere you are responsible for it. You may ask me, Karthik, how do you think I am responsible for it? I didn't create Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook. Go write a mail to him. I did not create Instagram. I have not created TikTok. I haven't created uh, YouTube. Why are you telling me? Why are you blaming me? Well, he has taught and installed this deep levels of thought process to constantly care for other people's opinions and judgments. Who has installed this? As a parent, are you doing this? As an elder in the family, are you doing it? The part of the society, is this not what's happening? Don't talk. What do the neighbors do? Don't behave like this. What are the neighbors going to think? Don't dress like this and go out. What people are going to think? Never ever said how we are going to be. How are you feeling? All these things don't occur. I remember, you know, having watched any number of instances where a child is shouting and is angry and is crying and their parents are saying that what are other people going to think? What about that child's anger? What about that child's frustration? What about that child's sadness? Why it's all a blind year. And now the social media has made it multifold. If you do it 1x, they will do it 10,000x. That's it. And now it's boom, boomerang. Big boomerang is happening. When somebody wears a nice dress and comes to your home, Immediately you will want to say, hey, good dress, the person is going to feel nice about it. Yeah, I want a nice dress, very good. Same thing, no social media is doing. You will take that photo, it's not coming all the way to your house, you will upload it in this social, in social media. And now you will like, or you will dislike, or you know, you may just feel jealous. What all you need to feel when the person comes into your house, now you are going to feel it even when the person is not coming into your house because the person has got inside your bedroom. Yes, who is inside your bedroom? Social media you are opening. Whom all are you seeing? What all are you seeing? And as parents you must have control over these aspects. And you cannot have a forceful control. You need to be aware. You need to invest time with your kids. 
if your teenage daughter is growing up, have conversations with her. If your teenage boy is growing up, have conversations with her. Do not discriminate your daughter in a different way and your boy in a different way when you're sending both the people to Not have 1965 approach in 2021, and in 2025, you'll be surprised if virtual reality is going to come, where people are going to come and laugh in your bedroom. You know, the person be in, can be in London, and simply you can switch on, and the person's 3D avatar will be right in your bedroom. What about the discussions on pornography? Are you having discussions on pornographic content with your children? And why is it important to have these kind of discussions? You can either brush it under the carpet and then just sleep as if everything is fantastic or you can take active steps. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you one thing. I have worked with cops in Goa very, very closely. I think the workshop, like the top movies, you know, 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 consumed content is pornography. What are the psychological impacts of watching a pornographic material? You need to know this and you need to be able to have conversations with your children about lust. When you yourself are going to smoke, when you yourself are going to eat something and you know put it in the mouth in front of your children, when you yourself are going to set such a bad terrible example where all that you're looking for is a material upliftment and not internal states or internal harmony, then in many, many ways you will be shocked and you should be prepared for two of these things to happen, where one, your child gets into bad habits and affairs, and then the child gets a job, but then if you are going you're not going to come back to you. If you do not want any of these things to happen, it is very, very important that you set an environment where you are trying to do it with the loss. Then the internal ability of the child is at the best level. There is so many people I watch who are in a 40 year old, 25 year old, 50 year old, 50 year old, who are amazing, you know, highly qualified sur surgeons. They feel they got stuck by doing the same surgery all the time. They don't feel happy, they don't feel joyful. Where has this whole sense got inside their mind that would constantly uplift themselves, otherwise they feel nothing? This is exactly what a lot of parents are still doing. They are completely unsatisfied. You did this, now you did that. Now you have studied this much, you study that much. And after that, how much are you earning? Earn so much more. And then what secure the future? What is secure future? With a bundle of happiness, with a bundle of sadness, with a bundle of long face. What is that secure future? I don't talk I don't know. I don't know if you know this. In the banks, when you're putting your money, whether you may have one million, whether you may have two million, whether you may have three million. The bank legally, you know, the bank closes tomorrow. They are legally entitled to pay you one or one and a half lakhs. They want you to check it out. This is the security you are living at today. The powerful leaders now, they 
speed of mass dispersion weapons just with one button they can finish up the entire world with the security and the meaning of it. And here you are creating your own war. Your own mind wars with your own family members. Constantly family politics, office politics, 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 politics. With this kind of a miserable attitude and miserable mindset, how do you establish a situation where you are going to be joyful, harmonious? Prioritize. True security, true joy actually means to be vibrant within, to be joyful within, to feel harmonious within all the time. And if I cannot feel harmonious, if I cannot feel vibrant, if I cannot be the way I love to be, and I'm not saying like I want to dance by you know removing my clothes or run, removing my clothes on the ocean or near the seaside, causing discomfort to others. No. I just want to be joyful, I just want to feel uh, nice that I'm able to converse and be, uh, I would just feel fantastic by watching this absolutely amazing ocean. I want to feel nice when my eyes are able to witness, like for example right now, I'm able to see this fantastic space, I want to experience tears of joy and I want to feel great about it, but when I go, and to the so-called family members, I go and say that, uh, listen, you know, I have tears of joy today. You so don't understand what that means. So when I go over there and say, listen, you know, today I did a workshop and I know there are two like cookies. Yeah, I want to do something to let you know, or buy something. Wow. Material outcomes are always aspect is thinking why are you running behind material you're running behind material because you want to feel joyful you want to feel harmonious you want to feel good are you stopping you from accessing that state directly this kind of ridiculous thing that people are doing so as i'm telling you all this what the social media is doing so you don't have to complain you got to recover yourself if you are a parent, you are a caretaker, just empower yourself. Otherwise you will be shocked. In the age of virtual reality, with the animation, big time, it's going to be at the forefront. What all relationships that you're talking about today will be at the back. It's already happening. Do not run into tragedy. Thank you.